Hey guys, Red Rapids there, and today I'm going to show you how we can create a local account at the Windows 11 setup. So at the minute, as you can see, it's trying to force me to use an online Microsoft account. Now what we need to do is we need to first make sure that our machine is not connected to the internet in any way, and we then need to change the out-of-box experience to bypass the network requirement. So if your machine is connected to the internet over an ethernet cable, you can simply just unplug it. If you're connected over Wi-Fi, see if you can disconnect the Wi-Fi, or if you can't, restart the installer and do not connect it over Wi-Fi this time, or if you cannot even get it to do that, if you just turn off your Wi-Fi temporarily. So once you've made sure your machine doesn't have an internet connection anymore, we then need to change the out-of-box experience for the system to allow it to bypass the network requirement. So to do that, we're first going to need to open up the command prompt. So inside of the installer, if you then just press the Shift and F10 key on the keyboard, that should then bring up the command prompt. Now inside of the command prompt, we first want to go to the out-of-box experience directory. So we're going to type cd space oobe and then press enter. So that will take us into the out-of-box experience directory. And then inside of there, we want to run a file named pypassnr.cmd. So now we've typed that out, if we now just press enter, it will now reboot our installer and will implement the bypassing of the network requirement. So now we've made sure our machine is not connected to the internet and we've told it to bypass the network requirement if we now go through the setup process again. At this page here, we now have an option to say I do not have internet. So if we click on that and then we click continue with limited setup. Now at this page here, we can now set up a local account instead of using an online Microsoft one. So if you just type the name that you want your local account to have, I'm just going to call mine PC and then click next. And then if you want it to have a password, type a password in and then click next. And there we go. We can now just go through the rest of the setup and it will create us a local account. So I will be back once it's finished doing the setup. Right, so now the setup is finished. As you can see, we now have a local account created. So guys, that's as simple as it gets. If you like the video, don't forget the like button. If you just like to hit the dislike button, subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you another time. Bye.